Quantum Immortality According to Quantum Immortality Theory, if you've ever had an experience where you nearly died, you actually did. Think of your consciousness like a player in the world's longest video game, one where you can't ever reach game over. Every time you face a deadly situation, you'll only experience the version where you survive, no matter how unlikely that survival might be. As you get older, your survival scenarios might get more and more unlikely. You could end up as the only 500-year-old human, unable to die, wondering why everyone else's story seems to end so soon. You're not watching their immortal timelines, you're stuck experiencing only yours. Panpsychism In this theory, everything in the universe is conscious. Consciousness isn't just in our brains, it's more like a cosmic subscription service that every atom is signed up for. Panpsychism attempts to solve the puzzle of how consciousness emerged in a material universe. The chair you're sitting in might be silently judging your posture. Your phone is definitely tired of being dropped, and the fridge has some opinions on your dietary choices. Quantum Fluctuation Theory in quantum fluctuation theory, reality is basically playing the world's biggest game of peekaboo. Every time you look at something solid, your phone, your coffee cup, you're actually seeing trillions of particles borrowing energy, popping into existence for a split second, then disappearing. Everything you can see and touch is built on this cosmic dance of existence and nothingness. Reality itself is less like a solid foundation and more like a light switch being flicked on and off a trillion times per second. So next time someone tells you to get a grip on reality, you can tell them there isn't much to grip. It's all just cosmic confetti playing hide and seek with existence. Block Universe Think of your life like a book that's already sitting on a shelf in the cosmic library. Every page, every word, every single letter is already written and bound. Block Universe theory tells us that's exactly how time works. You think you're writing your story as you go, but really, you're just flipping through pages that have always been there. That job interview next week? Already happened. That decision you're stressing about? Already made. That mystery of how your life turns out? Already solved. You just haven't reached that chapter yet. You feel like you're living in a world where time flows forward. Where choices matter and the future is unwritten. But according to this theory, that's just what it feels like to read your own story for the first time. 